Okay, I apologize for the uh, darkness of the footage. It's the middle of the night and everyone in the house is asleep, so I really wanted to do a vlog. Yeah. Okay, so basically, I watched um, the documentary Gender Knots today, which is completely amazing and I love it. Anyway, um, basically Chronicles, not Chronicles, that's the wrong word, um, talks about uh, a bunch of um, FTMs in their lives and just kind of how they identify um, with gender and how they feel about it and it was just really interesting to see such a spectrum of transgender emotion and transgender feelings about gender itself and I just thought that was completely amazing because most stuff it's just kind of one point of view and I really like having all these different points of view, it was really cool. Yeah. Um, yeah, so that led to me um, attempting to paint, and I am not an artist at all, but um, no, I tried. So I drew um, it's um, a person with a full beard, um, half of their head shaved, the other half is kind of wavy, shoulder-length hair, um, and half of the shirt is pink with flowers on it, and the other half is just a blue polo shirt with a little pocket, and then like... Um, it's half a skirt and half shorts, which I'm not sure if you can really tell. That's what I was going for. And the skin is gray, um, kind of just showing how it's not black and white. And um, I don't know exactly how to say this, but in chemical, like in chemistry terms, it's like M uh, causes F, and then F also causes M. So, yeah, I wanted to show that you couldn't tell if it was an MTF or an FTM. Someone was pretending to be someone they weren't. That's all you can really tell from it. And I really liked it. Even though it's totally not artistic at all, it kind of portrayed what I wanted to. So, that was pretty cool. And then, after that, I was reading up on some kind of transgender rights stuff. It was a totally vague description, but it's given me some websites to look up on, so I'm pretty excited about that. And then I was bored and had a Sharpie, so I, was, I drew like ten um, trans logos on my legs. Yeah, that's what it looks like. And, um, what did I do after that? Oh, and then I built this thing. Okay, that's that's just cool, because it's like, hey, female, what shall I be today? Yeah, no, I thought that was pretty cool. And then, a couple other things. Yeah, yeah, I love Photoshop. And, yeah, it's been a really awesome trans day. I really liked it. But I was also just kind of thinking about uh, my life, I guess, and, um... How I can never do anything that's easy. I always have to have struggle in order to prioritize. And in order to find out what I really want. And struggle enables me to enact it. It enables me to do what I want. I mean, I can't even make an easy shot at pool. It has to be like a off the wall hits it four times for me to do any good at it. And I don't know. I think it works pretty well with being trans because it's... A, struggle. And I know I'm pre-everything, but, you know, I'm working on that. I've just started seeing a therapist about it, and he can hook me up with someone who does hormones when I do decide to do that, so pretty excited. Um, I was also thinking about one time I remember I was on the bus home from school, and this had to be an elementary school. Um, I was thinking about how, I remember thinking that I must have been a man in my past life, and that um, my, um, soul, I guess, just hasn't caught up to being female, and I think it was my own subconscious way of dealing with my masculinity, I guess. Uh, I, I like those kind of childish reminders, the adolescent reminders that I'm figuring out who I am, and it's not just me being crazy or looking for a struggle. Makes me happy. Oh yeah. And yeah, the whole coming out to my parents thing, that happened. Left him a note. You know, 
and a couple books to read up on. Um, they've kind of done a little of that. They did the whole, um, well, at least my dad did the, you know, we're not going to kick you out of the house, obviously, and, you know, we still love you and we want you to be happy and all that, which I thought was really awesome. And even my mom, who's all like, gays are going to hell, was like, we love you. And I was like, maybe she's not insane. And I got all excited about that. And then she left me a note. If it's all that was, she had a bunch of questions and she was, she said something like, I was always raised to just deal with what you've got. And if you've got lemons, hmm, have a vagina. Oh, it did really piss me off. And then later when I was talking to her, she compared transsexuality to being overweight. And that, yeah, your body may not be what you want it to be, but you just have to deal with it. It's like, yeah, you can deal with it or you can change it. And I choose the second one. Uh, yeah. And then she ripped up the note, I guess, to kind of erase um, what she'd said. Because later on she said, um... You know, one day I hope that I make it into heaven, and, you know, many years later I hope to see you there too, because I, I hate to have, just, I hate for you to go to hell. Yeah, that was awesome. Go mom, and your fucking hate. So, yeah, I, I, soon after that, wrote a little poem here about how much that really hurt me. Um, yeah, so that really pissed me off, and, you know, she's st still, I'm, I'm not sure if she's just doing it because she doesn't think I'm serious about being trans, or she's doing it to be, to emphasize, you're my daughter, but she keeps saying, you know, daughter, daughter, and I understand the whole pronoun thing, but it just, it's really pissing me off, and I'm not even sure my dad's taking it seriously, like, we talked about it the one time, thought it was gonna be okay, and it just hasn't come up. It's like, I don't know. It's really annoying. But, this, you know, them I'm not so happy with. But my life I'm pretty cool with. Because I'm knowing, well, I'm figuring out who I am. And I've got a pretty good idea. And what am I going to do? Lie to myself? Yeah, that that's awesome. Give me some ulcers. Nice little heart attack. You know, I'm pretty excited about, you know, rep rep repressing my feelings and thoughts. That's why I want to be a counselor. Uh, right? Yeah, by the way, that's totally like my goal in life. Because I wanted to do psychology, but I didn't know what. And then I got to reading, and I thought, it would be so awesome to work at like a sex reassignment clinic or some other type of just dealing with a lot of trans people. And, like, the counselor I'm seeing, I was kind of talking to him about it a little bit. And he's like, yeah, it'd be really awesome. Because, you know, there have been, you know, like, drug addicts doing, um, like, drug addict therapy and, like, stuff like that. And there aren't any, like, trans people doing, dealing with trans patients. So I think that would be completely amazing. That's my little philosophical moment for the day. Good night.